Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first thing is first, okay? I have to address this. We can't even go on without me saying this. I have hit a thousand subscribers. This just happened on Sunday. Oh, Saturday. I just hit a thousand subscribers and I am so so excited guys thank you so much for being with me on this journey thank you for your support thank you for subscribing to my channel you know we keep on growing every day i have been enjoying like making videos and things like that so thank you guys i really really appreciate it so i'm back with another how to video guys and in this video i'm going to show you how to do a winged eyeliner or how to apply eyeliner guys i do these how to videos guys because i believe not everyone knows what to do when it comes to makeup and secondly i believe that you you can never say i know everything when it comes to makeup you learn every time this is why i watch everyone when it comes to makeup the one who's starting out the gurus like everyone i watch everyone because i believe every time i watch something i learn okay so the first thing for you to get the best eyeliner look is to make sure that whatever product you're using whether it's a pencil whether it's a dip liner whatever it is it has a sharp end okay okay so i have a lot of products that you can use okay you can use a dip liner like this ones that come in a little container like this and the you see the tip is like this it's a fine tip right so a dip comes like this you dip it in where your ink is or where your liner liquid is right and then this right see this is nice and thick see this and then um you also have normal liners right normal eyeliners that we're used to i have this old one from palladio right it's a fine tip like this this is what you want like a precision pen because you want your lines to be precise and you want your lines to be clean and then you have the good old pencil right where is my pencil then you have the good old pencil right for my wink look i normally don't like using a pencil so i'll stay away from the pencil i'm just gonna go use this liner right so i'm going to be using this one it is called a felt tip it's like those felt pen or magic markers if you come from where i come from we call them magic markers but for the eyes or a cocky or whatever you want to call it right or a permanent marker right but it's just for the eyes and the tip is um thinner and more precise right so the trick to this ones guys this stay for a very long time right if for any reason they appear like they are dry i hope this one works if it's dry like this right all you have to do is this just to get um all the liquid that's in the little spongy thing in down here you know like what we used to do when you're young and then bingo on comes and then bingo you see the difference that's the trick so this is why i love using this so when you're applying your eyeliner there are a few places i'll be um a few areas on my eye i'll be mentioning just to guide you guys this is the waterline right the lower waterline here yeah. this is what i do right like a lot of people have different methods of doing it right I first draw the lower line or the lower wing, right? Starting from the waterline and extending it out. Starting from the waterline and extending it out. Now, the direction that your wing goes is totally up to you. Your wing could be like this, it could be like this, it could be flat. It's totally up to you. But the principle is the same, right? So I'm going to start on my waterline like this. I'll be looking at my mirror down here. My waterline here. And I extend faintly, right? The lines that I'm drawing with the pencil, they are so faint with the marker, with the eyeliner. <laughs> the lines I'm going to be drawing up will be so faint, right? Because it's sort of an outline. Like this, right? That's how I want it to look like. Do you see the line? Do you see the black line that I did there? And then at the end of that line, guys, you go back starting at the end of that line and you drag it back to your eye like this do you see that there is my wing guys i don't want to make it look like it's that easy but it's really that easy as you can see the wing has formed already and this is what i was going for so we're going to drag the rest of the line 
down here to the top of your lashes like this and do you see how i'm holding the pen right so when we are here since we want to fill in this part with black the, i'm not using the liner like this like with the tip but on the edge like this do you see that and then we extend that line still using the edge of the liner right so when you're applying the eyeliner be as close as you can to the upper eyelid watermark this is here make sure you get right on the edge of the eye and then now we fill in with the edge of the pen like this done that easy i'm going to explain the process on this side again and mentioning a few things that i didn't mention this side and this time i'm going to be using a dip liner like this one right i got this a long time ago it's on his last legs but anyway like before i'm going to extend the lower eye waterline the lower waterline this one right so i'm going to take the lower waterline and extend it lightly draw lightly and stop one of the biggest challenges is matching symmetry matching this side and this side guys sometimes i just leave it alone because it's so stressful so i leave it i just try to make it as similar as possible as symmetrical as possible or as identical as possible right and then like before at the end of this line i'm going to drag it back as easy as that you see that they're different already yay just finished fixing here right so what i do with an eyeliner i know some people can do it in one swoop like one continuous line i can't do that i do it in short strokes right and when i'm doing my eyeliner i usually stop talking i usually stop breathing because any slight movement might you know mess up my eyeliner so i do as minimal movement as possible and just concentrate on the line i'll be honest as much as i like a dip I, as much as i love a dip liner it is so messy it is you know you're more prone to make mistake with a dip liner unlike with the felt tip that i used on this side but okay I don't know if you have noticed this i'm using this finger as a pivot so that i just balance the eyeliner on my face you use whatever finger that works for you you see this is my pivot finger <laughs> right and then lastly you fill in the wing here Ideally, you want the tip of your wing to be sharp, okay? You want, like, this is why you have to use a sharp pencil, a precise pen, or whatever. It has to be sharp. We want the edges to be sharp, right? So, if you made a mistake, don't worry about it. We have a way of fixing that, and I'm going to be showing you how. Okay, guys, let me, <laughs> let me make a bigger mistake, okay? Let me just... <gasps> okay that's too much so let's just say this is a mistake i made and i want to clean up my eye right simple all you need let's say you have already applied your makeup like this you need to use a concealer i prefer using a concealer that's closer to my skin tone to make it to make the blending process easier as i'm already done with my makeup right so you take a flat i so saw this is the brush that i use for applying my um concealer to my eyebrows right so i just go in remember this product so if you do this the bristles will stick together and make it as flat as possible do you see right and then we go into our concealer we take a bit of concealer on the edge of the brush like this 
not too much just like this and then you Remember the trick that I always talk about when it comes to concealer, just letting it sit on your face for a few seconds so that it's full coverage. This is the principle I'm going to apply here. I just let it sit for a few seconds. I'm just going to go and blend out everything. So what I'm doing is tapping and dragging, tapping and dragging until it's nicely blended. Do you see that guys that is how i do my winged liner now so it's up to you how dramatic you want your wing to be okay it could be an itsy bitsy little wing it could be like a dramatic wing that starts here with black liner you know go as crazy as you want to i just wanted to give you the basics once you get the basics down you can go like extra and wild and everything Thank you guys for joining me in today's video i feel like i haven't said this in a while but um remember to subscribe to my video to share my video and to leave a thumbs up if you like any of my content until i come back with another video it's bye for now <laughs> bye